And just about ready to get game two underway here from Ray and B. Dillard Field. North Greenville taking game one of the day, 9-3, game two of the series in a clinching match. On the mound for North Greenville will be Ethan Garner as he comes in with a 4-3-8 ERA, 3-1 record in nine appearances. Eight of them starts, this being his ninth, 37 innings pitched. 36 hits, 22 runs, 18 of them earned, 21 walks to 33 strikeouts. Southern Wesleyan comes back to try and win one of the three in this series. Jared Jones will lead off. Pitched in the first game, will play left in this game. Devin Patrick, who pinch hit late, will DH in the two spot. Right fielder Tyler Fuller in the three will play, will hit there. Tanner Glass, first baseman. Will hit fourth. Catcher Connor Ewing, DH in the first game, will bat fifth. Third baseman Sawyer Price came in in relief in the second game, will hit sixth. Timo Shaw, now playing center field after playing in the infield, will play in the seven hole. Sean Sute, shortstop now, will bat eighth. And DJ Ludwig, who came in at second place, at second base, to replace in ejection will bat ninth for North Greenville they line up as such defensively Ethan Gardner at on the mound Lex Tootin behind the plate now Adam Sasser at first Jeremy Whitehead at second Utah Jones at third Jared Williams at or Utah Jones at short Jared Williams at third Jack Morris at left Josh Center in center and Chandler will be in right And just about ready to get game two underway. And Jared Jones, to get us started, did not have a plate appearance in the first game. Was on the mound and solely worried about that. Garner, first pitch is outside, ball one. This game going the distance, nine innings, as opposed to the seven innings we hit in the first Second is in, launched, right field off the wall. Chandler has to go around for it and digging for extra bases up to second. First to bat of the day is a double for Jared Jones. And that'll bring up Devin Patrick, the DH. Had one at bat in relief of Quentin Bent in the seventh inning of game one. It didn't go anywhere. Garner steps off. Throw down to the plate is low ball one. Garner. Takes a look back at Jones. Throws. For ball two. Two and oh. That one. Popped and almost caught, but dropped by Jack Morris. And heads up base running from Devin Patrick gets him to second. That one hit in that dead man's area between third base and left field. Morris made a stab at it, was able to knock it down so it didn't get behind him. No run score, but the first two on for Southern Wesleyan. 
will go down as a double for Patrick. So consecutive doubles to start the game. And Tyler Fuller at the plate. He'll rocket that one foul of third base. Fuller 0 for 2 in the first game, but did score a run. Brings in a 4.76 average. Popped up. And caught at short by Utah Jones. No one advances, one out. Tanner Glass, you lined out to end the game earlier. One for three in that match. Run scored, 301 average. Toss down. Foul ball. Glass ready for the delivery from Garner. Inside ball one. Down low, two and one. Glass getting ready. And that one low once again. Hitters count for Tanner Glass. Swing and a miss on a low pitch, full count. And that one low, it'll load the bases with one out for the Warriors. Stepping in for the Warriors, the catcher, Connor Ewing. Connor Ewing now catching in this game. 0 for 3 as the DH in game one. Did he go? Yes. Strike one. Down and away, ball one. That one put in play. 6-4-3 double play. Will end the inning. North Greenville gets out of the jam. To the top of the first, nobody scores. After two hits from Southern Wesley and North Greenville coming up to bat.
Bottom of the first. Coming up here from Ray and B. Dillard Field, North Greenville getting out of a basis loaded jam with a double play. To end the first, Southern Wesleyan. Three men on and none of them able to score. And for the Warriors on the mound, for game two will be TJ McKelvey. McAvilly, actually. Sophomore, right hander, six appearances, four of them starts, three and one record, 23.2 innings pitched, 31 hits, 20 runs, 13 of them earned, 10 walks to 11 Ks, a 4.18 K per nine, and a 4.94 ERA. Not a bad man to have on the mound for the Warriors. And North Greenville coming to the plate will be the same leadoff man from last game. Pretty much the exact same order, save a few changes. But everyone who was in game one, for the most part, will hit in the same place. Jeremy Whitehead will lead us off. There's a bunt. And will he beat it out? No. And one quick out, just as the first game, a drag bunt on the first pitch will be the first out for Jeremy Whitehead. The third baseman, Jeremy, excuse me, Jared Williams. And Jared Williams hitting in the two spot again, struck out four times in game one. We'll look to correct that here in game two. Machiavelli. Low for ball one. Outside ball two, and yes, the lineup. Only difference between game two and game one being fail. Now DHing instead of catching an Elvin Rosa out of the lineup. Lex Tutin catching and hitting seventh. Ball one. Or strike one, rather, two and one to Jared Williams. And that one put in play. Hit the short over to first on a short hop. Able to make it. Sute to glass for the out. But able to make contact that time is Jared Williams and doesn't record his fifth strikeout of the day. Utah Jones. Utah Jones at the plate now, two for three in game one, or one for three in game one with two runs scored for the shortstop. Now when rifled in for strike one. Inside ball one. Well inside enough to hit him. Utah Jones takes first base. And that'll bring Adam Sasser 0 for 3 in the first game with a run scored. Still as it stands, the conference leader in home runs hit with 14. But after game one, John Michael Fail nipping at his heels, his two puts him one behind Sasser. Delivered and foul. Low ball gets away and no advancement from Utah Jones.
Machiavelli. Throw over, not in time. One and one. That one rifled foul of first base. Second strike on the board for Sasser. Thrown down, popped into left field. That will find the ground. Utah Jones spots up at third. Sasser gets his first hit of the day. Two out single for Adam Sasser. And now a run 90 feet away for Jeff Chandler. Chandler 0 for 3 in game 1. Takes ball 1. Did end up with an RBI ground out and also scored a run in a 9-3 victory earlier this afternoon. And that one finds the space. RBI single. Coming in, and Sasser will take third. Will he make it? No. So that'll end the inning. North Greenville does score the run, but the third out is at third. And after one, North Greenville leads it. one nothing. Top of the second coming up here from Ray and B. Dillard Field. Off of the Warriors, the third baseman, Sawyer and Sawyer Price will get us started. Has a good throw for a 9 4 5 put out at third to get Chandler out, or rather Sasser out, to end the inning. North Greenville does plate one. Oh, and two. Coming in, Ethan Gardner against Sawyer Price.
swing and a miss. And there's the tag after the drop strike. So Ethan Garner gets his first K of the day. And that'll bring up Timo Shaw. O for two. And that one hit towards center. And Josh Center will make the play. One pitch, one out. Two down for Southern Wesleyan. Chip that one foul for 0 and 1. Garner. Throws down, finds the zone. Shall now sits at 0 and 2. Or shall rather flew out this Sean Soute. Low for ball one. That one, bloop single to right field, and Sute is on base. Ball one. That one hit deep. Go off the wall, center plays it. He'll throw in, deep throw and a stand up double. That one will skip off the mound and a run will score for Southern Wesleyan. Right idea, just not a good throw from the cutoff man, just an unfortunate bounce off the mound. And Southern Wesleyan ties the game 1 1 on the RBI double. Ludwig will get credit for it. Jared Jones comes up for his second at bat of the game. Yeah. Swing and a miss for Jones. And DJ Ludwig coming into that was 167. Only his fifth RBI of the season. That one foul down the left field line. All this action coming after two outs. The Sute single. And the Ludwig double. Speedy running from Sute to score from first. Oh, and two. Yeah. 
And that one rifled foul on the right field side. Too late on one, too soon on the other. Garner gets him swinging right out of his shoes, and that'll end the inning. And after two, Southern Wesleyan unable to play. One run on four hits so far. North Greenville has one run on two. John Michael Fail set to get the second inning started for the Crusaders. Two home run performance boosts his ER or his uh, batting average to a 4.54 after game one. Still tops of the conference Carolinas as he sees ball one go. Hit a pop up that just sailed to right field. Then he hit one that launched off right under the scoreboard in left field for a one-run and a two-run bomb, three RBIs in game one. Three pitches, three balls already. And you can't blame T.J. Machiavelli on this one. Trying to pitch around, John Michael fail, and he walks him on four pitches. And that'll bring up the new man in the game, catcher Lex Tootin. And Lex Tootin, 333 average, 19 games played, 16 starts. This is 20th and 17th. 48 at bats, 12 runs, 16 hits. And after ball one, five consecutive balls. We'll see Ewing come out and talk to Machiavelli. Machiavelli throwing down to Tudin. And that's six straight balls. <laughs> Turn in, pop foul. That's the first strike of the inning. Seven pitches in.
Inside, ball three. Tooting at a hitter's count. Hits that one. In play, rifled it past first base. Fail will stand up at third. Tootin will stand up at second. And North Greenville, two on, nobody out. Both in scoring position. And that'll bring up Josh Center. One for three with a run and an RBI in game one, a 244 average. And North Greenville threatening here in the second. Center wanted to hack at that one. Take strike one anyway. Thrown in, made in play. Will anybody get anywhere? No. Run scores, and center makes it to first. The left fielder, Jack Morris. Jack Morris, the nine hole hitter. Hits with two men on. First and second, belonging to Tootin and Josh Center. We'll go down as a single and an RBI, an infield single. And 1 0 to Jack Morris, still no outs in the inning. Coming in, step off. Coming through. That one outside, 2-0. Bunt. Will that go anywhere? And a bunt single will load the bases. Two in the third, center at second, Morris at first. And Jeremy Whitehead with nobody out in the second will already come up for his second appearance of the day. Strike one. Outside. Yeah. 
And we've talked time and time again about how blessed North Greenville is really in this coaching department. A couple major leaguers end up in the dugout between Coach Landon Powell, former Oakland A, as the head coach. As that one is chopped in play. We'll see what happens out of that. Pulled him off the bag. Run scores. Nobody out still. Bases loaded. So now center advances to third. Morris at second. Whitehead stands at first. And Jared Williams comes to the plate with nobody out. But just to finish the thought, with... Powell at first, and actually got a call and out at second, and that's what Powell's out to argue right now. And if I had to guess anything, it's because Morris sliding into second is going to be called for either interference or getting in the way. Regardless, regardless, that will be an out at second, first out of the inning, an RBI anyway. Runners at the corners now. So centers at third and Whitehead's at first. Jared Williams at the plate. That will go out as a fielder's choice. Pickoff is for nothing. But also in that coaching staff, Jonathan Kutlangus, another former Carolina Gamecock, manning the pitching staff. So North Greenville stacked in the pitching department and the coaching department. Hitting not too shabby either. Runners at the corners with Whitehead in center. On, on the base pass, only one out. We'll see what happens here. Williams bunts it down. In play, out one to three, but does end up with an RBI. Sack bunt. We'll move Whitehead over. And Utah Jones coming back. Two outs, two runs. Inside ball one. Popped up, center field, running into the fence. It's gone. Timo Schaub gave every effort he could, but a two-run shot from Utah Jones. 6-1 North Greenville here in the second. Second Crusader to Homer today. Fail had two in the first game. But that'll clear the base paths and put North Greenville up on the board, up five, and already TJ Machiavelli is getting a conversation at the mound. We'll see how they choose to go about this. As already the plug's going to be pulled. Machiavelli 
throws one and two thirds and is pulled from the game. Six hits, six runs, all of them earned a walk, a hit by pitch, a double, a home run, and only 36 pitches thrown. And Josh Core, who showed up in the first game for a five pitch outing to get one out. Is already back on the mound here in game two. So we'll take a break while he warms up and be back to give you more action here from Ray and B. Dillard Field. Adam Sasser comes to the plate with a 6-1 lead. And Josh Core on the mound now. For the Crus or for the Warriors against the Crusaders here. Ball one. And we'll see how this goes. For Core, he got an out on five pitches in a relief effort earlier. That one popped up. Center field calls off right field, or actually calls off the second baseman, but ends up with the third out regardless from Tyler Fuller, and that will end the inning. So top of the third coming up when we come back here on the North Greenville Sports Network. Top of the third for the Warriors here, now down five. Devin Patrick at the plate. North Greenville ends the last inning. Five runs, four hits, no errors, none left on base. And force a starting pitcher out of the game in less than three innings for the second game in a row. Two and a third in the first game, one and two thirds here in the second. Quick 2-0 count 
for Devin Patrick here from Ethan Garner. Outside 3-0. Patrick one for one with a double. As that one's called a strike three and one. He was one of the two that led off the first inning with consecutive doubles, but none of them scored. That one popped up. And center makes the catch in right center. One out on the board already for the Warriors. Tyler Fuller steps into the batter's box. Garner set to throw. And that one hit him. Garner hits a batsman. And the Warriors will inherit a base runner. And Tanner Glass, the first baseman. And we'll see. What goes on here, there is a substitution of some sort. We'll figure out what that one is. And that's a pinch runner at first is what that turns out to be. And that'll be Sean Sute. That shouldn't be. No, that's not a pinch runner. That's 35. That's still the same man. Tyler Fuller standing at first. Because that one's in for a strike. Glass had the play one and one. Inside, got him for the second strike. Yeah. Outside, ball two. Glass walked his first time up. That one, center gets under it. No advancement on the runner. And Josh Center getting a lot of work, but not really having to move a lot. Responsible for both outs so far here in the third. That one put in play on the right-hand side. Flying, flying, and out. Chandler ends the inning. And North Greenville will bat in the bottom of the third when we come back.
And leading off for the Crusaders, just recorded the last out of the inning, Jeff Chandler. And we'll see how Chandler does. Chopped foul. Josh Kaur still on the mound. One and one. That one. Out foul. Core sends into Chandler. He fouls that one off. One and two. Chandler. Chops at it. And an easy out for Core over to Glass. And John Michael Fail coming back to the batter's box. One for one with an RBI was Jeffrey Chandler coming up before that one. As that one's down low to Fail. Two home run performance in the first game. Already his second at bat of the game today. Here in game two. He walked and scored a run. Uncorks on that one. Is that three? No. Right at the wall. Jared Jones with no room to spare. John Michael Fail with the loud out. Two down for the Crusaders. And Lex Tootin, one for one with a double and a run in his first plate appearance. Comes up, no men on. And two outs. Down low, one and one. Pop foul behind the screen. One and two, last strike for Lex Tootin. That one put in play, but snagged by Sute for the last out. And after three, North Greenville leads it 6 1.
Top of the fourth here from Ray and B. Dillerfield. Third baseman up to bat, Sawyer Price, 0 for 1 with a strikeout so far. Ethan Garner still on the mound. Warriors now trail five here in the fourth. And a first pitch strike for Ethan Garner. And strike two. And we'll see as Ethan Garner's ready to throw down outside ball one. North Greenville 26 and seven on the season, 14 and three in the conference. Southern Wesleyan 12 and 21, four and 12 conversely. Garner. <laughs> Throws down, puts it in play, but we'll see a good play. Whitehead to Sasser for the first out of the inning, and that'll bring up Timo Shaw. Caught right at the fence. John Michael fails out in the game. Bottom of the third. What another two feet would have been fails third home run of the day. Now Garner to Shaw, low and outside. Oh, yeah. 0 for 1 on the day is Timo Shaw, or 0 for 1 in the game, rather. Is Shaw was 0 for 2 in the first game. Now Garner throwing in outside, ball 2. And we'll see. Now this gets put together 2 and 0. Oh. Caught the bottom corner 2 and 1. North Greenville looking to close out the month of March. Very dominant. As that's ball 3. Should this result remain Could move to as good as 9-1 and one is that strike two at home in the month of March. Or excuse me, 10-1 and one should they win this game today. That one chopped in play. Takes a weird bounce for Jones, but he's able to corral it. Utah over to Adam Sasser for the second out. North Greenville also on one heck of a run since the month of March started. Two losses, a 4-3 loss at home to Erskine and a 2-1 loss at Emanuel College, the only two losses for North Greenville in the month. This is the 20th game of the month, North Greenville. Doing well. Seventeen and two for North Greenville in the month. As that one is rifled in for strike two, one and two. Sean Sute one for one with a run. Popped up. Center calls off everybody, and Josh Center will end the inning. And after four innings, Southern Wesleyan scores one. North Greenville, bottom of the fourth, coming up.
Bottom of the fourth coming up, North Greenville trying to extend the lead as it stands. 6-1, Josh Center, one for one, an RBI and a run. RBI single a few innings ago. Swinging for the fences. 0-1. Oh also scored a run. So in part of two of the six runs. Low strike two. And core. Still on the mound for the Warriors. Foul ball. Core down to center. Ball one, one and two. That one put in play. And that one will take a weird hop over the left fielder. And center is going to take an extra base. Same thing happened yesterday. But Jared Jones unable to do anything with it. And North Greenville has the leadoff man at second. The left fielder, Jack Morris. Jack Morris digs in. One for one on the day. And that'll go down as a double for Josh Center. Outside, ball one. Core. Core ready to throw down to Morris. Morris pops to right field. And that'll go foul. One and one count. One and one. Coming to Jack Morris. Josh Center standing on second after his leadoff double here in the fourth inning. Down low, two and one. Delivery. Ball three. Core getting ready once again at the three one count. Morris. Steps out as Core steps off. We'll see.
And that's a walk. Jack Morris gets the fourth ball right by the face, but gets his free base. And now still no outs. Jeremy Whitehead coming back to the plate. Third time through the lineup here only in the fourth inning. 0 for 2, RBI, and a run. Bunt. Put down in play. Will he make it? No. Thrown wide. One run scores. Everybody's safe. And that'll go down as an E1. Second error of the afternoon, first of the game for Southern Wesley and 7-1 North Greenville. That one goes foul. Seven one lead for North Greenville, two runners in scoring position, no outs, Jeremy Whitehead at the plate. That one will go foul. Oh and two. Course sets to deliver again. Foul ball. <laughs> Count remains 0-2. That one, rifle up the middle, and no throw made. Runners at the corner, another run scores. Really? Utah Jones digs back in. One for one with a home run, two RBIs, couple runs scored, was also hit by a pitch, and already here in the fourth, Josh Cora looks like his day might be done. Conversation around him. We'll see if there's a signal to the bullpen, and yes, it does seem to be so. Long inning continuing with still not a single out recorded. And we'll see actually, umpire signaled to bring in the relief pitcher, but he's sent right back. Josh Core remains in. Aiden one. The score, North Greenville leading. One game, one in seven innings, nine to three. We'll see what else comes of this.
Core. Down low, ball one. No one advances. Down low, ball two. That home run earlier in the game, only the fourth home run of the season by Utah Jones. That one chipped into play. Ludwig to glass for the out, run scores. North Greenville has their ninth. Sacrifice the out, does Southern Wesleyan. And now William stands at second, only man on. And Adam Sasser digs back in to the left-handed batter's box. And that might, well, that will have to be the end for Josh Core. And Southern Wesleyan will have to move to their third pitcher of the game already. Hands in the ball, and Josh Core is done. New pitcher comes in for the Warriors. It'll be number 30, Cole Standifer, when we come back here on the Conference Carolinas Digital Network. And coming in, in relief, will be Cole Standifer, the sophomore right-hander. Seven appearances, 10.2 innings pitch. And also brings in a 6.75 ERA. With one out here in the fourth inning. 
third pitcher of the game for Southern Wesleyan already. That one's rifled in for strike one. Don't close the book on core just yet, but 1.2 innings pitch, three hits, three runs, all of them earned, a walk. Let up a double through 31 pitches, but the man on second still belongs to him. That one popped foul. Standifer. Ready to throw to Sasser. That one hit on the ground. Sute to Glass for the out. Man advances to third. Jared Williams standing there now. Two outs in the inning. And that'll bring Jeff Chandler up to the plate. The right fielder, Jeff Chandler. Chandler one for two with an RBI so far. Down low, ball gets away. No advancement from Williams. That one also down in the dirt. Swing and a miss. That one would have been ball three. Thrown in. That one in play. And again, same results. Sute to glass. And that'll end the inning finally for the Warriors. Top of the fifth coming up. North Greenville nine. Southern Wesleyan won.
Top of the fifth coming up, and North Greenville, new pitcher on the mound. Number 35, Matthew Daly. We'll take it, 5-5-4 five, five, ERA, 1-1 one one on the season already. Rockets that one. And center. One pitch, one out. In the deep For the deep out. Daily 5-5-4 five, five, coming in, 1-1 one one on the season, seven appearances, two starts, 13.0 innings pitch, 10, 10 hits given up, eight runs, all of them earned, nine walks, and 13 Ks. Rifled in for strike one. Sute led up the inning, or rather Ludwig led off the inning. Flew out on the first pitch to Jared Jones, now one for two with a double and a strikeout. And 0-2. And Swing and a miss. Drop third strike, though. Tootin throws over to Sasser, and that will be the out. And that'll bring up Devin Patrick. The designated hitter, Devin Patrick. First pitch strike again for Daly. Patrick one for two with a double. And like Jones, that also coming in the first inning. That one, foul of first. Matthew Daly quickly up, 0-2. Ball one. Down in the dirt for ball two. Outside ball three, so Patrick able to work back from an 0-2 count to load it up. And walked him. Daly unable to get that final out of the inning. And he'll face Tyler Fuller. Low for ball one. Golfed at it for strike one. Daly able to pull the strings on that one. Thrown in, swung over it, strike two.
That one rifled foul. One and two. Fouled that one off again. Turn in, golfed at. And that'll go foul of third base. High and out, ball two. And again, down on the turf, ball three. And walked another. The first baseman, Tanner Glass. Tanner Glass stepping in. Strike one. Fired away. Did they get the man at second? No. So 0 and 2. That one rifled over. And Williams able to take care of it himself. So halfway home from Ray and B. Dillard Field. Bottom of the fifth coming up. North Greenville 9, Southern Wesleyan 1.
Bottom of the fifth here from Ray and B. Dillard Field. John Michael Thale, the DH, 0 for 1 with a run and a walk. Tops of the Conference Carolinas in batting average. Still hitting an absurd 450. That one fouled away. Up high for ball two. Low for ball three. That one skied towards center field. Shao running in on it, able to make the catch. Timo Shao retires the dangerous bat of John Michael Fail, but Lex Tootin comes to the plate. One out here in the fifth. Up high. And Tootin, one for two with a double and a run so far. And Cole Standifer able to try and make a mark. Is that one chipped in but dropped by Price? Sawyer Price had a play at it, but he dropped it. Hit hard enough, goes down as a hit. And Josh Center stands in the batter's box. to center two for two a double an RBI and two runs scored foul back two and one Up high, ball three. That one. 
foul. Full count. Payoff pitch. Low for a walk. Center takes his free base and two men on for Jack Morris. It looks like another conversation, this time coming in for Standifer. Looks like a routine conversation, no infield meeting. One out in the inning, runners at second and third, or first and second, rather. Double play is in order for Southern Wesleyan should they get the right ball. And Morris, one for one, a walk and a run. And then that one through the gap. We'll score one. Chuton comes in to score the 10th. Center stands at third. And Jack Morris with an RBI double. The second baseman, Jeremy Whitehead. And Jeremy Whitehead. Digs in in the fifth, one out on the board, one for three in RBI and two runs. Fourth time through the lineup for North Greenville. Through three times through, have already had 11 hits and 10 runs. Only unable to score in the third inning so far. Strike two. Standifer throws down. That one put in play. Two outs. And yeah, actually pulled off the bag. And Williams will come in, and a pinch runner will stand at first. Your attention, please, now running at first base, number 12, Dawson Price. Dawson Price will pinch run as North Greenville gets the RBI, or bats in the run. Does On the single RBI, Jack Morris advances to third on the play, center scores. 
11 to 1 lead. Jared Williams, one for two, two RBIs and a sacrifice so far. Because that one's low for ball one. And low for ball two. Did not go on that one. Ball three. Three and one. Swing and a miss. We'll fill up the count for Williams. That one popped and will go foul. And this will be the 15th game this season. North Greenville has scored in the double figures in the runs department. That one popped up right-hand side. That one just out of play. But four of those 15 times scoring 10 runs on the nose. So this is the 11th time that North Greenville scored 11 or more. That one put in play. And the second out is recorded. Sawyer Price to Tanner Glass. Runner moves up to second. And another one scores on the ground out. The shortstop. And that'll put Utah Jones in the batter's box, one man on. He's standing at second, Dawson Price, 12 runs for North Greenville now. Ball one. In case you're wondering, North Greenville's most runs scored in a game this season, 24 versus Erskine. Back to start the month of March. Foul ball. One and two to Utah Jones. One for two, a home run, three RBIs, a hit by pitch, and two runs scored for the shortstop. It's only the fifth inning. 
That one put in play. And that'll get through everybody. Jones with the single. Will it be? Yes, an RBI. Dawson Price able to score from second. And now Utah Jones will check out. Adam Sasser stands at the plate. That looks like Jeremy Bivens will be the pinch runner. Corey Bivens. So Corey Bivens at first. Running for Utah Jones. That one put in play, and that will find the gap again. Dead man's area, runners at the corners, two outs. Chandler takes in a bat. And Elvin Rosa comes in to pinch run. As Chandler sets up to bat. First pitch he sees. And a diving play unable to make is Timo Shao. One run scores. And they will get Chandler at second to finally end the inning. But North Greenville leads by a lot here after five.
leading off of the Warriors, the catcher, Connor Ewing. Connor Ewing. Set to get the sixth inning started. And lots of changes coming North Greenville's way. We will get to those as we can. But first and possibly most important would be the pitching change on the mound. Grayson Hickert comes in in relief, 1.93 ERA and nine appearances, 9.1 innings pitched. Seven hits, three runs, two of them earned, five walks, and eight Ks. And now a North Greenville 14-1 lead here in the sixth inning. But two quick balls to Connor Ewing, who is 0 for 2 on the day. Now 3-0. Does get the strike there for three and one. Whole host of changes. Hickard on the mound. Dawson Price now at second. Driscoll at third for Williams. Is this one popped into the air? Made in foul territory. Connor Driscoll able to make the play. Also, Corey Bivens now at shortstop. Elvin Rosa playing first. Spawn sells and right for Chandler. Parsons is DHing for fail. Sawyer Price takes ball one. And actually, that lasted bad, not going to Sawyer Price, but actually a pinch hitter came in as Stevens, Nolan Stevens, took the pinch hit. So not Price at the plate now, but rather Stevens. Is this one's hit? And the play is made. Second out of the inning. And that should bring up Timo Shao. This one popped up right-hand side. And Rosa able to make the play in a quick sixth for North Greenville. Southern Wesleyan doesn't get anything. North Greenville still leads by 13.
Bottom of the six coming up here for North Greenville. 14-1 lead as it stands. And a new pitcher on the mound for the Warriors will be number 26, Tyler Perry. Three innings pitched so far. Nine hits, nine runs, all of them earned. 27 ERA, though that is a bit inflated. So now Palmer Sapp pinch hits to start this inning. Also Nolan Stevens now playing third for the Warriors. That one, fair ball. Sapp going to try for two, and he will get it. And a leadoff double for the pinch hitter. And Tootin still remaining in the game. We'll get in at bat, but don't be surprised to see a lot of pinch runners and pinch hitters here in the last few innings as North Greenville has this large lead. Thrown in, popped, third base side, and Stevens just has to watch it go. Tootin, two for three, a double and two runs. Outside ball one. Finds the corner, one and two. Fouled off the bat of Tootin. That one put in play. And we'll see if Tootin gets an RBI here. And he will. North Greenville puts 15 on the board on the RBI single. The center fielder, Josh Center. Josh Center takes his at bat. No outs, first two have reached. First pitch outside. Center two for two, a double, an RBI, three runs, and a walk. Swings under that one for strike one. High ball two. Strike two, finds the bottom corner.
And that'll fill up the count. Three and two, runner on first. Third in, popped up. Right hand side. And out of play. Perry throws in. That one popped up. This one will stay in play. And Tanner Glass records the out. Sean Parsons gets in a bat here. Two fifty five average on the season in fifty one at bats. And he will take Morris's spot. Two and up. Low and outside, ball three. Finds the zone three and one. Strike two. Swing and a miss. First strikeout in a long time for the Warriors. The second baseman, Dawson Price. Dawson Price. We'll take it bat. That one chopped foul. Swing and a miss. We'll end the inning. On the strikeout, North Greenville heads to the bottom of the seventh of 15-1.
and North Greenville after seven. We'll send yet another man to the mound, Jared Lemke. 5-14 ERA, 1-0 on the season in 11 appearances, 14 innings pitched, 14 hits, 10 runs, 8 of them earned, 1 walk to 14 strikeouts. First pitch is in for a strike. Other defensive notes is that one's put into play. And Lemke throws to Rosa for the first out. But other defensive substitutions. Sap now the DH. Parsons in left. And now Bach Knight relieves Tootin. Now, DJ Ludwig comes in one for two with a double and an RBI. Lifts that one foul and well out of play. Thorn in, and that one foul of third base this time. And Lemke has an 0-2 advantage on Ludwig. Didn't go one and two. Buck Knight, smart to go ahead and tag the runner and then wait for the appeal. But just a refresher defensively for North Greenville after this pitch. Swing and a miss. Strikeout for Jared Lemke. Second out of the inning. But Lemke on the mound, Bach Knight behind the plate, Roses at first, Dawson Price at second, Corey Bivens playing shortstop, Connor Driscoll at third, Sean Parsons in left, Josh Center remains in center, and Toby Sponseller now playing right. So only one starter remains. There's a first pitch strike for Jared Lemke. Low ball one. Golf over the top of it. Will be a strike, one and two. Jared Jones, one for three on the game. A double and a couple strikeouts. Feast or famine for the left fielder. High and outside, two and two. Thrown in and a strikeout. Jones can't believe it. And bottom of the seventh, coming up after the break.
Connor Driscoll takes his spot in the batter's box here in the bottom of the seventh. North Greenville 15, Southern Wesley in one. 275 average on the season for Connor Driscoll in his first plate appearance of the game. Low as Perry is still on the mound. And also a bit of note, Perry struck out the last two North Greenville hitters he faced. And those were indeed the first two strikeouts of the game for the Warriors. That's a ground out to start the inning for Driscoll. And now Corey Bivens will stand in. Bivens pinch hit in the game versus Queens at Fleur Field earlier this season. Uncorked a long home run. And a defensive switch in the middle of the inning. We'll see Cole Rogers take left field in place of Jared Jones. Jones got a lot of work. Started the first game, played left here from the start of the second. And by started, I mean he pitched the first game. Foul ball to start it off. That one put in play. And an easy out for the Warriors. We'll send Elvin Rosa to the plate. Rosa in game one, two for two. Two runs, a couple RBIs. Was caught stealing. Two and another Rosa. Two and one in this. The sixth game this year, North Greenville scored at least 15 runs and second this weekend. Is that one's low? Ball three to Rosa. Fouled back. Full count. And caught him looking. And that will end the seventh. So, top of the eighth. On its way, Southern Wesleyan trails by 14.
Top of the eighth here from Ray and B. Dillard Field. North Greenville leads it 15 to 1. And now on the mound will be Brent Herlong. 10.05 ERA, 0 and 1 on the season. And this is 10th appearance. 14.1 innings pitched, 19 hits, 17 runs, 16 of them earned, 6 walks to 16 strikeouts. And Devin Patrick said to get it underway in the 8th. Flies that one. And Josh Center records the quick out. The right fielder, Tyler Fuller. Herlong, the fifth pitcher of the afternoon for North Greenville. After Garner's four innings pitch, Daly, Hickert, and Lemke all coming in for an inning apiece. Herlong just getting his underway. Low for ball one. Swing and a miss, strike one. Catches the corner, one and two. That one finds the zone. Strikeout looking. First K for Brent Herlong. And already, that's it. Two-thirds of an inning for Brent Erlong. He's sent packing. Judge Powell won to give his bullpen a little work. And we'll come back to tell you about the new pitcher when we come back. And new pitcher for the Crusaders coming in, Brock Robinson. 138 ERA, 1-1 one one on the season, 10 appearances. One save, this is not a situation for that. 13 innings pitch, 12 hits, 2 runs, 2 earned, 2 walks to 18 strikeouts. So Herlong able to get a flyout and a strikeout in his two batters faced. So he'll play for two-thirds of an inning. We'll see how long Robinson lasts.
At the plate will be Tanner Glass. Stepping in for the Warriors, the first baseman, Tanner Glass. O for 2 with a walk is Tanner Glass. Swing and a miss. Same on the second. Oh, and two. Inside one and two. Robinson delivers and gets the strikeout to end the inning. So, bottom of the eighth. Coming up, 15-1 North Greenville. And Toby Sponseller will get the eighth inning underway. Puts that one in play. One pitch, one out for Perry. And a weird batting season for Sponseller continues. Still no average in that his 11th plate appearance does have two runs. And Sap rockets that one and tried to play a diving play out of bounds at the fence was Cole Rogers. will just go down as a foul ball, and Sapp will return to the batter's box. His first time up, hit a double and scored a run. This one kept inbounds, and Sapp will go two for two. Runner on first. For Trace Bach Knight. The catcher, Trace Bach Knight. Bach Knight hacks at the first pitch he sees. Foul ball. Low in the turf, 
and Sap will stay at first. Low for ball two. Hacked foul, two and two. And that one put in play. Or actually just foul. Stevens was ready to make a throw. And this series not going to help Southern Wesleyan at the end of the day. As they stand to fall to 4-13, and 13, still sitting at last place in the conference, North Greenville will move to a four-game lead as it stands at the top. Bach Knight lifts that one. Go a fly out to DJ Ludwig. Standing in shallow right field. Two outs for the Crusaders. And the lone starter still in the game. Josh Center comes up. Two for three, a double, an RBI, three runs, and a walk. He whacks at that one. It'll go in left field, and Rogers able to make the play to end the eighth. So, top nine on its way. North Greenville three outs away from sweeping the series. New man on the mound for North Greenville to try and get this game over with. Daniel Kite steps onto the mound. 1 4 6 ERA, 1 0 on the season, nine appearances. 12.1 innings pitched. Eight hits, three runs, two of them earned. 15 Ks and three walks. So Robinson out after a third of an inning.
Kites ready to take the rubber for 14 run lead as the throw down is right there. Everything else defensively stays the same. And Connor Ewing, 0 for 3 on the day. First man up for the Warriors. Going to need more than a Herculean effort to get back into this game. But it will have to start with Connor Ewing. Foul ball. Oh, and one. Kite. Throws in too low, one and one. Inside, two and one. That one, grounded in, Price over to Rosa, one down. Baseman, Nolan, Stevens. Nolan Stevens digs in. Righty on righty matchup. Kite delivers high and inside 1 0. And Kite with a different delivery than the Warriors have seen all day. That sidearm delivery popped up. Right hand side and out of play. Stevens a 111 average on the season, 0 and 1 on the game. Swing and a miss, strike two. Fouled back, and Stevens stays alive. Kite. Once delivers inside, ball two. Inside ball three. Full count for Stevens. Fouled that one off. And Stevens still staying alive in the count. Kai the payoff pitch again. Fouled off.
Low end, that's a walk for Nolan Stevens. And that'll bring Timo Shao to the plate. Or rather, it looks like a pinch hitter. AJ K9, the senior, takes a plate appearance. on this is third game played strike one outside ball one Swing and a miss. One and two. That one chipped in play. Six, four, three, double play ends the game. And North Greenville will take it, 15 to one. And we'll be right back in just a moment to run down the final score here from Randy Diller Field. And before we go off the air, just a look around the league just to give a state of things in the Conference Carolinas. As mentioned before, Mount Olive, a 2-0 victory over Emmanuel. North Greenville winning the first game today, 9-3. A 10-8, seven-inning win for Limestone over Barton. Erskine beating Chawan 11-1. King ends up beating Belmont Ivy 9-4. Erskine puts a hurting on Chawan in game two, 21-7. Mount Olive, 8 to Emanuel's nothing in the second game. Barton 6-2 over Limestone in game two, so that's a split on the day. North Greenville, of course, winning this one 15-2-1. Top of the seventh at Belmont Abbey leading 9-1 over King in the second game, trying to split that one. So, for the game, Southern Wesleyan gets their run in the second. North Greenville plating one in the first, five in the second, four in the third, five in the fifth, one in the sixth to account for their 16 runs. So that'll be the end of that. North Greenville wins 15-1 here from Ray and B. Dillard Field. <laughs>